it's Corey from Earthquaker Devices, and today we're going to be talking about Vibe, one of the most iconic and unique guitar effects that cemented its place in musical history in a very short window of time was known as the Univibe. Invented in the late 1960s, initially designed to electronically emulate the complex sound of a Leslie rotary speaker, gives a lush and liquid three-dimensional soupy swirling sound that is somewhat of a sonic cross between a chorus and a phaser. Now the depths, similar to an original Univibe, is essentially an all-analog optical phasing circuit that uses a glowing LED and photocells known as light-dependent resistors, or LDRs, to control the amount of phasing. It is in fact this relationship between the swelling light emitted from the diode and the light-dependent resistors that gives the vibe its characteristic pulsating swirl. Now let's dive into the depths, starting with a look at the controls. First at the top left, we have intensity. This controls how subtle or intense the overall effect is. Counterclockwise from noon are the more subtle and classic sounds, and clockwise from noon are the more dramatic and intense sounds. top right, we have rate. This controls the overall speed of the effect. Counterclockwise for slow throbs and clockwise for fast stuttering pulses. <laughs> Next, we have level. This controls the overall volume of the effect. Unity is around one o'clock and everything above that is a boost. Now this control is particularly handy because due to the nature of the vibe circuit, it can feel as though your signal is pulled back or at least sitting a little bit differently in the mix. So it's nice to be able to bring up the perceived level and make your affected signal more pronounced. Then we have two unique controls that you don't see on other vibe pedals, throb and voice. Throb controls the amount of low end pulse. It may not be immediately evident on the bridge pickup, but switch to the neck and add a little dirt and it will really come alive. This works best when the voice is set to a warmer tone. Now voice focuses the frequency range of the modulation. Counterclockwise will be a little bit thinner and have a more upper mid-range emphasis, while clockwise will be a much fuller and warmer sound. The depths is one of my favorite devices to add a sense of depth and dynamic movement to your signal. The depths has been optimized to work across not only a bunch of different pickup types, but also many instruments. So I pre-recorded some samples of Rhodes, bass, and synths that I'll be running through the pedal and sweeping through the controls so you can hear the range of different sounds. Notice that subtle adjustments will yield some pretty big changes. Thank you. 
There are unique sonic differences depending on where you put your vibe pedal in your chain. Now typically, modulation pedals will be placed after your distortion. However, with the intense amount of filtering going on inside a vibe pedal, you may find that it sounds better before your distortion. Hendrix, for example, sandwiched his vibe between a fuzz and a cranked British amp. And having an overdrive after your modulation may attenuate a lot of the harsh high-end frequencies that may be accentuated by having a fuzz up front. Thanks for checking out the depths. If you have any questions about this pedal or any of the other devices in our line, be sure to check out earthquakerdevices.com.